Well, greetings. I'm so glad you can join us as we continue on with this series of uh, First Things First, a Bible study on growth for believers by uh, Keith Parks. And uh, we, have, we are on Lesson 26, What Does It Mean to Love Others? Jesus said that the greatest commandment was to love God with all our hearts and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Matthew chapter 22, verse 36 through 40. The New Testament tells us that it is very important for Christians to love others. Jesus said, All men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. John thirteen thirty five. If we fail to grow in love for one another, people have the right to say that we are not even Christians. The Bible tells us to love one another in a very practical way. Once a religious teacher asked Jesus what it meant to love his neighbor. Jesus replied by telling the parable of the Good Samaritan. This parable teaches us that to love our neighbor means we must meet the needs of people we encounter in life. We must give them a helping hand in whatever way we can, even if it costs us something. Another important part of loving others is that we must be willing to forgive those who hurt us. Paul wrote to the Colossians, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly beloved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 and 13. We must also be willing to forgive because God has forgiven us so freely and fully. Forgiving others is so important. In fact, that Jesus said, If we refuse to forgive others, the Father will refuse to forgive us. Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. Because God loves us, He forgives us and accepts us as we are. If He loves others, we must do the same. And so that completes our... Uh, devotion on what does it mean to love others and i thank you for this time and uh and god bless you